Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction in Sturgis, South Dakota. And today we're going to continue with our Tinley's puzzle and our second block. And the one we're doing today has all flying geese. So last time we did the half square triangles. This time we're going to do flying geese. And both of those you'll see in some of the other blocks as we continue. So today, Here's our block with our geese. It contains eight geese, two of them each go in a different direction. And I'm going to use method, one of the methods, there's several out there, in which the background was a square that we just slit in half, and this was a large square that we cut diagonally twice. So there are our pieces for our geese, and when we line them up to sew them, we get the point in, and then you want to make sure that you're lined up straight across the bottom. This will fan out a little bit maybe, but you want it will overlap in the, on the upper corner. So we'll add that side real quick here. When you come off the edge, you're about that quarter inch, you say a quarter inch. And then we're going to do a real quick press to open that up nice and then we'll do the other side. And once again we want to line up down in the corner and then you want to line up across the base of your flying geese and like I said it may shift a little on, on the top side and that's okay because it's important that we stay lined up with that base and then cross right at the tab. And you want to be very ginger with your pieces because both of those pieces are on a bias. And it's real easy to start stretching them. When you come off the second time, you'll notice that you'll cross right at that end there. And that's where you want to be nice line. We're going to press that side open and then we're going to clip off our dog ears real quick and then when we sew our geese together let me grab one when we get to sewing our geese together we want to lay it over the top, line them up and you want to, whenever possible, to look at the little X that you create. And you want to cross that little X when you sew your two pieces together. Okay, so you can see on my pieces that I put together, I didn't lose my little tip because you cross that little X when you decide when you sew those two pieces together. So then once they're sewed into four sections, get your geese running each direction and then sew them together like you do a four patch. So this one to here, this one to here, and then come and sew it all the way across and you will have completed your um, flying geese block for the Tenley's Puzzle Quilt. So thank you for watching us here at Fabric Junction. If you like us, place the thank you button and check out our website at junctionfabric.com.